Hi, I'm Goose, and welcome to Color Theory in Minecraft. Today, we are talking about color harmony. Harmony is where everything that we've talked about so far really comes together. We're going to be talking about all the principles that we've covered and how you can use those to make things look good, make them look pleasing, make them have a good vibe, good aesthetics, good feels. For the most part, color harmony is subjective, meaning if you like how it looks, then good job, you're doing it right. But there are some basic guidelines for harmony that you can use as starting points and to get some good ideas to go off of. The first group we're going to talk about is achromatic. Achromatic just means without color, so black, gray, white. If you're building in an achromatic palette, you're going to be focusing almost entirely on value and the texture of the blocks. Up next is monochromatic. Monochromatic means just one color. In monochromatic palettes, you're going to be using variations of the same color, in this case red, to create your build. You're going to be looking at different values of red, different saturations of red, and shades and tints of red. Of course, you can do this with any color, we just have red here. Analogous color palettes use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Here we're using cyan, blue, and purple. You get more options and more variation with an analogous palette, but everything still works together. It's hard to pick a color that's in an analogous trio that doesn't work with the other colors next to it. Up next, we have complementary colors. We covered this in contrast, but just a quick overview. They're colors that are on the opposite end of the color wheel from each other. They give a lot of contrast, a lot of movement, but they can be kind of harsh to look at. Triads are a good way to mix complementary colors and analogous colors. We have very high contrast between each one of these, but there's not quite as much contrast as complementary colors, so you end up with a little bit of harmony. Like green and orange have some harmony, purple and green have some harmony, orange and purple a little bit more contrast. These kind of palettes tend to work really good where you want some harmony with one outstanding accent color. Tetrads are very similar. We have some harmony in there, but there's still some contrast between the groups. Tetrads are made of four colors that are on the corners of a square in the color wheel. In my opinion, these work best on really large builds or when you're splitting things up between, let's say, the ground and the building itself. Now, these are very basic palettes, and it doesn't mean that you have to be in one of these groups to have a good color palette. There are plenty of ways that you can make palettes that fall outside of these groups. If you think they look good together, then good. You got a good palette. But if you're looking at something you have and you're not really happy with it, but you can't tell why, it can be really useful to go back to these groups and see how the color palette that you picked fits into these groups. Maybe you have something that seems like it's an analogous color group, but one of them is just not quite right. Come back and think, all right, are these three next to each other on the color wheel or not? Maybe you can shift one of them a little closer and get better results. These are tools, but not rules. Your color palette doesn't always have to come from the local color of each block either. Sometimes you get really in there and you look at the individual pixels on the texture. We look at pods all down here, we got some green, we got some brown, we got some gray, we got some orange. It works great with all of these. Same with jungle wood. We have a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, something almost leaning towards gray. Works really good. Acacia wood, it's pretty gray, but it does lean towards orange. So that works well with the orange in the acacia wood, the orange in the jungle wood, and the orange in the pods all. This right here is one of my favorite color palettes right now. Over here we have deep slate, glass, and oxidized copper. I really like these, and I like how they work with each other, and I think the glass is actually what ties them together. The deep slate and the glass work together because of the contrast between the light edges and the dark edges, and it's clear, so it works pretty well with most blocks. But then we also have a tiny bit of green, tiny bit of blue around the edge of glass, and that ties in the copper really well. A lot of color harmonies rely on gradients as well. We have the green and the moss leading into the mossy stone, and we have that gray carried over with the iron bars, using the brown as contrast, but the brown is still a great harmony with green. These two work really well together. I think this is a very classic color palette. If you want to work more into contrast with your colors, you end up with some weird stuff like this, but it kind of has its own place, especially if you're looking at maybe underwater builds, something in a coral biome, or you just want something to look colorful and futuristic or weird or fun. I would love to see more people build with palettes like this. Color palettes can be tricky because they are so subjective. Just because you like something doesn't mean someone else is going to like it, and just because someone else likes something, you might think it's gross. This can make it difficult to improve because you might be looking at what other people approve of, or what other people like, or what other people are using. I really do think that if you enjoy your color palette and you like what you're doing, keep working with it. If you're having fun, go for it, and you'll get better. You might not think that everything you make looks great, but you should keep going with it if you like it, 
It was a very important step in finding your own voice and finding your own style. So I want you to experiment a little bit. I want you to pick a couple color palettes, some that you make yourself, maybe make one of them a little weird, be a little bold with it, and make a small build with each one. See which one you like, see how you'd want to change it, and then make some adjustments. I'm going to put a link to my Discord down below, and I would love to have you come and share some pictures of your builds. We can talk about them, you can ask questions, see what other people are building, and I'd really like to see you there. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because, well, if you haven't watched the other ones, there's some other videos to see, but this is the last one in the series. But I'll see you next time with something else. Who knows? Could be fun. See ya.